Thanks for watching the Wall Street Wrap. Here's a look at what happened in the U.S. markets on Tuesday, September 21st. Major U.S. indices lost steam after a brief afternoon rally on Tuesday and ended mixed. Stocks hit their highest levels on Monday since May after economists said the recession officially ended in June 2009. After its weekly meeting, the Federal Reserve said it would keep interest rates at between 0% and a quarter of a percent, as it's done since December 2008. The Fed also said the recovery had slowed over the last few months, but that it would do what it needed to support the recovery, meaning that it would buy bonds if needed to stimulate the economy. In real estate, construction on new single-family homes surged 10.5% in August, reaching a four-month high. While the surge is promising, analysts say the numbers are still at an all-time low. In corporate news, Hewlett-Packard said it settled its lawsuit with former CEO Mark Hurd, who HP sued after he took a job at its rival Oracle. Hurd will waive the rights to HP stock worth over $15 million, but will get to keep the $12 million in cash that he received as severance pay as part of the settlement. In world markets, European indices ended down for the day, while Asian markets ended mixed. Oil futures for October delivery, which expired today, fell $1.90 a barrel, and gold for December delivery fell $6.50 an ounce. However, it rose to a new intraday high in the late afternoon, and gold settled at an all-time record high close on Monday. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.